Hey everybody, it's Friday morning. I'm Louis Angel. I'm Nathan CK. We're here to talk about Wonder Woman 1984. Um, this may be the most anticipated movie of the year. Yep. In a year where there were almost no movies. No movies. We couldn't uh, pile together a top 10 no list. No top 10. This because year, guys, like, we saw, what, like 20, like 30 movies, movies and reviewed even less than that. Yeah. So we saw a lot of older movies right. that. Right, right. Um... Yeah, this movie was delayed a couple times. We finally got to watch it. It's on HBO Max. Uh, Patty Jenkins directed it. Wonder yep. Woman and Gal Gadot's back as Wonder Woman. We have Chris Pine. Yep. We have Pedro Pascal, The Mandalorian. What yep. do you think of Wonder Woman 1984? Um, you know, seeing this like trailer for the first time and then um, seeing where they were gonna go with everything, and you know, you're in the you're in the eighties, um, so you're kind of coming back but also like time going back a little bit in the past in the setting um Kristen Wiig also in the movie Kristen Wiig um as the antagonist um, Cheetah yeah and you know seeing her as like a villain was like interesting well, well she's not like the main villain but um also, just like her performance, I thought was really good in the in the movie. Every, all their performances, I thought were really strong. I thought this was the best Gal Gadot has been. Yeah, as yeah. Wonder Woman. But also, as far as like um, the movie goes, I thought it really started off slow for me. You know, you had like this like uh, Amazonian Olympics going on, gladiator type stuff and you kind of understand like some origins of Wonder Woman in the beginning seeing her as a kid and like trying to um, like make herself you know the best and going through these tribulations. It's cool seeing how powerful even as like a six year old right, she was. Right. But then it was like that was kind of like boring like I was just like kind of sitting there watching like okay It definitely had some very convenient like oh I'm yeah how lucky for her right, there was right, a slide exactly. right here. And then you know going through also with like some mall scenes and certain catchphrases Where she like either wink or like do something just kind of cliche It was very cliche. cutesy and yeah. 80s And I was and... like oh I hopefully like the rest of the movie isn't like this But then it really picked up and I think that's where Kristen Wiig kind of s- had her spark of just like, um, just her persona of her character. You're able to like, like, okay, here we go. Like, I can yeah. laugh at this and laugh at that, kind of get along. It's like 80s, so there's, you know, um, you're dressing that type of style, and I kind of like that. Um, and then you have Wonder Woman just looking amazing with her Gal Gadot, outfit incredible. and Wonder Woman coming out with like all this uh, really like modern you know suit which I really love I thought this movie was a blast I I saw in a couple interviews Patty Jenkins was trying to make a superhero movie yeah. not a World War One movie not a war movie like she did the first one but she was trying to do something closer to a Richard Donner like the very early Christopher Reeve Superman movies mm. and those movies are cheesy and corny and i love them <laughs> so this movie's a big ball of cheese um i absolutely Literally. loved it it's corny in the best of ways it's i can see people not liking it yeah because it's a different genre and not what they were expecting but i like that it took that risk yeah that patty jenkins like when she went up to the plate she really swung for the fences and is it a complete home run i don't think so but I think the movie is strong triple. Yeah, like, I had a yeah, lot of fun with it. The action scenes I thought were really good. I love they that were. she made a point of Wonder Woman more than beating the bad guys. She's saving people mm-hmm. too, right? Which in the other DC movies, like yeah, Superman will save a soldier, but when mm-hmm. buildings are going down, Wiping it's just millions you know, of people out. Of I love that Wonder Woman tried to save everyone that she could yeah. save. Um, I love the resolution with the Chris Pine coming back to Steve Trevor. I love the resolution yes, of that arc yeah, right there. Yeah. I thought that was a great scene followed yeah. by a pretty, I thought, awesome scene yeah. of Wonder Woman doing using one of her powers we hadn't seen her use before. Mm-hmm. I love that. I did think the score a few times. I'm like, oh, you pulled that from Batman vs. Superman. Or you pulled yeah, this from this yeah, other right, movie. Right, right, it's right, like, right. In the moment, it was working for me, but later on, I'm like, 
I wish you'd done something original right there. Mm -hmm. And I love the resolution of the movie as well. Yeah, me too. I love that it's it comes down to heart. Yeah, more so than anything else. So and Pedro Pascal, I liked. And I don't know the third act is very cheesy. It's very yeah, corny, yeah. but I really enjoyed the movie. But it, yeah, I did too. Like when you pick up through like after the first half, I think it's really good. Really I, I good. straight up had a blast. Um, and it's almost like, you know, Thor and, like, some of the Marvel movies where um, it's getting less away from the seriousness, which I think DC has a hard time with, where it's, like, Absolutely. always being really serious. And that's where, like, Marvel is so great because it's comedic and it's fun and you're happy and you have all these characters that you can get along with and you just, like, it's just a fun movie. It's entertaining. And then when you get into, like, you know, either Superman or Batman, it's, like, really dark and really hard Which stories. Which Superman shouldn't yeah, be dark, you right, know? Right, right, exactly. Batman I mean, you understand fine. Batman. Yeah. But, you know, for Wonder Woman, this is different. We haven't really seen too much of Wonder Woman for quite a long time. Um, so, yeah, this was definitely, like, a little breath of fresh air. It absolutely bit, you know? was. Um, um, and then also, um, you know, there's certain scenes where you have... Wonder Woman um, getting to know more of like her powers and I really love that that yeah. was like, something that was really I thought that was like, so cool. when she started like learning how to fly and stuff like that that was I really like that that scene I um, thought because in the comics she can fly and the movies all have always been yeah like, oh, well I like how they can. did that I love how they did that um, that was really good um, I honestly just loved the movie I love right. that it was big and goofy yeah. it had a big heart mm-hmm and I like also the connection with, like, um, Chris Pine, Steve Trevor. Like, how are you going to, like, we see him in the trailer coming back, and you're like, how is he coming back? But I like how it was only her perception that she could really see him for who he is. Yeah. But really, it's not. I love the, I love that him. they did that. I love that they, yeah. you know. Yeah, no, um, I really enjoyed it. Are you ready to rate this thing? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go. I really loved it. I'm gonna go four point five out of five. I had a complete blast with this movie. I'm gonna go um, four point two out of five. Um, really solid movie, guys. I think it's not out of the two. It's not the best, but I, I still it. really like the first one. I oh, the first, the first one, one I great. think. Like when I first saw it, it was just like that. Something. The no man's land scene, I think, yeah. is one of the best, like yeah. maybe top five yeah. scenes in any superhero movie. Yeah. Um, but and it's still really solid. Guys. This is good. Uh, we didn't do a top ten list this year. Hopefully I, next year. I think I gave <laughs> Wonder Woman. I hope so. I think I just gave this movie the high score. So I, I guess you win. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. guess you win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That's the review. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we hope you have a good 2021. Yes.